What's going on guys? Jessica here, also known as Resale to Ride. Today we're gonna do a what sold video. It's been quite some time since we've done one, but we had a really good weekend. We had uh, what do we have? 25 sales with, <laughs> there's Zena, she's here with me too, uh, helping me out. Um, so we had 25 orders and 27 items total for uh, $551.80 before fees and taxes and all that jazz. So pretty good weekend for us. So let's get into it. What's our first item, Zena? Uh, three pairs of Dickies for 43 bucks. All right, we've got these Dickies jeans. You guys saw me pick these up in a recent video, one of the church sales. I paid $2 a piece for these. Somebody uh, sent me, what, or did they use the coupon? Does it say 20 next to it? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, those oh, I see, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your notes. <laughs> we didn't discuss my notes first. Um, so, I have a 20% off coupon on my entire store right now. I normally go back and forth between a coupon one week and then the next week I'll do a sliding scale sale. Um, so this person used my 20% off coupon and got these all three pairs for $43, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so pretty good deal since I paid $6 for all of them. Not too, uh, not too bad. Not too shabby, Gabby. What's next? Next is going to be the African letter opener. All right, so I picked this up at an estate sale. I think I paid a dollar for it. It's been uh, around for quite some time. See if you guys can see that a little better. It's like a hand-carved African style letter opener. What'd that sell for, Zena? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. No coupon on that one, correct? Nope. Awesome. And next is, I don't know if I want to hand this to you. Why? Be nice. Give me. <laughs> this is, I put a newspaper around it so I wouldn't accidentally poke myself. This is a case kitchen knife, like a carving knife. If you guys aren't familiar with case, make sure you're checking kitchen drawers um, at estate sales um, or check through the utensils at garage sales for case. The carving knives don't sell for as much. This was what, $17.60? They used the 20% off coupon and they got it for $17.60. Yeah, 20% off coupon, $17.60. However, um, I did sell a case steak knife, which obviously is much smaller. I sold it for $45 a while back. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for case. They also make, uh, was it like pocket knives and um, like buck, sty buck style knives and stuff. So keep an eye out for them. Um, they sell well, there are collectors out there, so, but every once in a while you'll find these carving knives or like, uh, butcher style knives. Ow! Zena, <laughs> you almost dropped it. <laughs> anyway, good sale on that one, because I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar or two for that. Next up is a water jug. Alright, we've got this one gallon water jug, looks kind of like a milk jug style. We picked this up at a thrift store, a really small thrift store that we just happened upon one day. Uh, what did we pay for this? 75 cents or a dollar? It was really cheap. They I actually, can't remember that. We actually bought two of these from them. And then they had um, a couple of other bottles that were similar, but not the jug style. Um, but made out of the same material, same company. And we've sold the, this is the last one. So what would this sell for? 20% uh, off coupon for $12.80. $12.80. There you go. Good deal. Glad to get that out too, because that took up some space in a, in a tub. Okay, the next up is a doggy charm. All right, our next item is this little dog charm. This is marked Shinley's across here, which is a whiskey. And it, on the back it says Old Quaker number 12. Let's see how well you guys, let me get my face out of the way. There you go. This is a tiny little charm that would have hung off of the, of the uh, whiskey bottle. I uh, picked up a big lot of these little charms, like celluloid charms, and um, uh, I think there was like three of these uh, liquor bottle charms in a lot from an estate sale in Phoenix, Arizona. We paid $35 yeah. for a box filled with all kinds of stuff, including a small box with like 40 or 50 little charms, and I've slowly sold them off one by one. What'd this one go for? 20% uh, off 
coupon for seven dollars and twenty cents. There you go. Good deal. Um, we've definitely made our money back on these charms already, I above and beyond. What. Phoenix, Arizona, they got some estate sales. That uh, the the map yeah. blew up when we turned it on. <laughs> yeah, we went to probably what three I think estate sales that afternoon. But there was so many compared to here. Yeah, where we're at in Oklahoma, you're looking at maybe five max on a good weekend. Yeah, it's a good weekend. And it was it was twenty or thirty. So if you're in that Phoenix, Arizona area, you you got a good deal going there with the state sales. Next up is Madden fifteen. Twenty percent off coupon. Paid three dollars and twenty cents for it. Three dollars and twenty cents. But it's gone, so not exactly a high high dollar item, but we'll take it. Uh, next up after that is the Lord of the Rings. Uh, no coupon on that. It was 10 bucks. Zena's just going to do the whole show for me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> She's having fun helping me out. Lord of the Rings PS2. Out the door. I have nothing well, to say. <laughs> I want to hurry up and get it get going so we get to the shipping part. Just kidding. I hate the shipping part. Next up is a cat <laughs> charm. All right. Here's another one of those charms, guys. This one is made of celluloid. The tiny little black cat and it's got a little like gold collar on um this one how much did it sell for ten dollars no coupon ten dollars no coupon on that one coupon coupon tomato tomato um these celluloid pecan, though pecan what's in pecan the poop <laughs> what did you just say pecan or pecan pecan <laughs> <laughs> Um, these charms, the celluloid ones, uh, if they're made of celluloid, they uh, date back to, I believe it's the 40s. So that's a really cool little tidbit. I had to do quite a bit of research to learn about these things. Next up is I Shot the Sheriff. <laughs> is that on here? Oh, yeah. First track. All right, guys. We got uh, Eric Clapton sealed. Uh, what is this? The Icon CD. And uh, I Shot the Sheriff is the very first song. Good job, Zena. How much did that sell for? Uh, Not much. It is 20% off coupon, so $5.60. Ooh, $5.60. So lots of bread and butter items today, guys, but we do have a really good one coming up, so stick around. Um, I used to play this record all the time. I love that record. She's showing her age, guys. Yep. Are these the Black Levi's right Yep. Here? All right, we got a pair of vintage Black Levi's. These are from the 90s. Are these orange tab? Does it... Uh, I've got them folded, so I can't tell. Um, so black Levi's, these are women's. I sold these once before and they got sent back because apparently they didn't fit, which is fine. Um, they sold again for 24, is that correct? Yep, no coupon. No coupon, $24. Knife shop? What is that? Oh, that right there. All right, next is a knife sharpener. Last weekend we were out running errands, going to the post office, things like that, and we saw an estate sale sign followed it and came across this teeny tiny little estate sale. Um, went inside and I found this by the fireplace, which was weird, but asked how much and it was a dollar and we sold this for, is it $14? Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. $14, so very quick flip, took a week. Uh, happy with that. Next up is another pair of Dickies that you took an offer on. All right, this is Another pair of Dickies from that same sale. This is a brand new pair though. I had these listed for 22. Um, and of course, like I said, I have that 20% off coupon. So they would have been 17, math, 60, math is hard. Or something. Yeah, they would have been 1760. Oh, 17, yeah. But they sent me an offer for 17 and I kind of was like, ah, I don't really want to let them go for 17, but it's really not that big of a difference. So I went ahead and took their offer, get them moved out of here. Uh, next up is, Oh, I just about Guitar Hero. Almost broke myself in half trying to catch that. Uh, PS3 Guitar Hero 5. What'd that go for? $7. No coupon. No coupon. I like these people that don't use the coupon. Makes me happy. And next up is Tupac Rest in Peace. Rest in. Oh, I was like, that's not the <laughs> name of it. It's Tupac Resurrection, which is funny. You said rest in peace, and I'm saying resurrection. <laughs> uh, it actually is resurrection. This is a DVD, Tupac DVD. Uh, 20% off coupon went to $4. Four whole dollars, guys. These are uh, the DVDs that I list that cheap, like $4, is because uh, 
Uh, I've had a long day and I need something really easy to list and uh, I, I've got to get out of that habit. Uh, that I was excited about when I saw that it sold because <laughs> I found that at the uh, the wood the, wood, the lumberyard sale. Lumberyard sale. So I was excited when I saw that that sold. Yeah. So. Zena brought this over to me. If you guys haven't uh, watched those lumberyard sales, go watch them. There's, uh, I think, five videos from the lumberyard sales. Zena brought this over to me. I was like, look at this, and shows me a comp, and I'm going, oh my gosh. But it had really weird comps all over the place. Wasn't there one that was like 60 something dollars? 60 or 70 dollars, yeah. Yeah, there was one that was really high, and so we were like, what? And the, But then there was there was only a couple, and the others were like, and we got it for practically nothing. So yeah, it was like well the other comps were like in the $10, $15 range. So we went ahead and decided to pick it up. We either paid a dollar or less for this because it was either dollar day or 90% off day. And it sold for? Uh, with the 20% coupon, it sold for $12.80. There you go. $12.80. Not terrible. Um, what is that? <laughs> General Grievous. Oh. <laughs> uh... Zena's trying to figure out what the heck I wrote on the paper. This is General Grievous from Star Wars. A little, like, four and a quarter inch figure. He didn't sell for much. How much was it? Uh, with the 20% off coupon, it was $3.20. Another three twenty. Have you guys, uh, figured out this math yet? Most everything so far has been very low dollar, but, uh, we gotta get to $551 and some change. Next up is the Big Track, uh, motor. All right, so this was a cool sale, guys. I was excited about this. This is a motor for a 1979, uh, is it Mattel? I think, or, no, 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 Milton Bradley. 1979, Milton Bradley, big track. I'll put a picture of it up here so you guys know what it looks like. Um, this is like a, it's a programmable, like, tank. So you would, it would have a button pad on the top. You would program it, tell it where to drive. The problem was with it that, uh, on the bottom of the body, there was a tab where the battery door latched. So the battery door wasn't broken, but the body part was. So it wouldn't stay closed. It did work. It worked just fine. The only problem was you had to hold that door closed. So how's it going to go drive around with you holding it? So I knew that everything worked. It just had that one broken part. So I decided to uh, do as a Commonwealth picker says and when in doubt, part it out. And I pulled that thing apart. And, um, gosh, what did this sell for? $16? Yes, right? $16. Yeah, $16 no for discount. this motor. Um, the reason I said this is a cool sale is because the person that messaged me about it asked if it, if I knew for sure that it worked because they're trying to rebuild their big track from their childhood. Um, this you, actually, this actually sat in our toy booth for a couple of years. And people just kept messing it up in the yeah. toy booth. Yeah, they would play with it and stuff. I had two manuals that were with it. I sold the, the one extra manual for $10, and then I had this thing intact sitting in the booth for $40. It just sat there and sat there, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to pull it apart and sell it part for part, and I've made way more than $40 so far off of it. So How many parts have you sold already? Uh, like this is probably like the fifth or sixth pr yeah. part so far. Two manuals, both gone for 10 or 12 bucks a piece, and then this is 16 I've sold the wheels, I've sold um, an, the battery door cover, sold for like 18 so... Definitely, guys, if you've got something that's just not quite working and, you know, uh, for parts or repair, this thing sells for 50 bucks, the whole deal as a one unit. So definitely made my more than my money on that. So very happy with that one. The next thing that's up is that time of the year. Well, uh, I guess it's actually kind of We're actually kind of passing that time of year. This is a set of resistance bands for, like, uh, exercise. These have been sitting in our store for a long time. This is one of the first things that we ever bought at uh, Amazon Ben's store. What'd that sell for? Not much. With the 20% discount, it is uh, $7.20. So, glad to see that one go. It's been uh, taking up too much room. Yeah, next <laughs> up is this Texas hat. Here we go. We got a 47 brand Texas Rangers hat. This has uh, got the sticker on the underside. Pretty nice condition hat. It's like a dad style slouch hat. With the 20% off discount, we got $12.80 on that. $12.80, not bad. It's not for something we probably paid less than a dollar for. Normally, the max we've ever paid for a hat is $3. Most of the time yeah. we get them for a dollar, 50 cents, or whatever. Yeah. And we sell our hats anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks, depending on the hat. 
Right. And we we just did the math recently. Our Goodwill bins have had a price increase, but we still did the math. We found one of our heavier hats, like the older uh, vintage hats big or the, hat. the big flat bill hats are normally heavier. And we did the math on it and we pay about 35 cents, I think, per hat. So. Oh, I thought it was. Or was it 33? I thought it was a little bit more than that. Oh, somewhere in there. It's under 50 cents for sure for a hat from the bin. So. Okay. And then Tesla. Tesla C uh, cassette. Oh. All right. We've got a Tesla, the great radio controversy cassette. How much did that sell for? Uh, with the 20% coupon, it was $7.20. $7.20. Okay, next up is going to be the Chevelle Owner's Manual. All right, Chevelle or, Owner's Manual. This also came from the... Is that uh, Owner's Manual or Repair Manual? Or Repair Manual, yeah. Sorry. It's a it's a Repair Manual. Um, This also came from the Lumberyard sale. We picked this up. This was another one that was either dollar day or 90% off day. I'm pretty sure we paid a dollar or less for it. This was in a video, in one of those Lumberyard videos also, and I talked about it. Make sure you guys don't pass these up. This is for a 19, what, 76 to 87 Chevy Chevette. Who still has a Chevy Chevette? Evidently this person does, so that's cool. Um, I thought I was going to have this much longer, so make sure you guys pick these up if you can get them cheap enough. They're a good bread and butter item. I've sold quite a few of these in the last couple months. Twenty percent with the twenty percent uh, off coupon, it was eight dollars. Eight bucks, not bad. Okay, and then the help. Did we pull the help yet? We might not have pulled it yet. Is that a DVD? Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't pull it yet. That one. We gotta pull the help, and we gotta. You got that? So yeah, let's grab the help. Okay. Okay, next up is the Help. We sold the Help DVD. This one sold late last night. What'd that sell for, Zena? With the 20% off coupon, it was $4. $4 for a brand new sealed DVD. Not great money, but we'll take it. Super easy to list. And next up is the Empty Zelda case. This is an Zelda empty... Zelda rocks. <laughs> this is an empty Nintendo Switch case for Zelda Skyward Sword. And as you can see, this is a display-only box. This is from... It's the same on front and back. This is from GameStop. We went dumpster diving to get some boxes one time, and I guess they did a store reset or something. And we found there was a whole bunch of different video game cases. And this display case with a price on it sold for what? Uh, with the 20% off coupon, $4. $4 for something that was in the trash. They were all very clean. They were in a box, or a, I think they were in a box together, but... That, that place is usually like all of the boxes. They just throw empty boxes pretty much in there. So it's yeah, usually always clean. Yeah, pretty much nothing but boxes. There's a trash bag here and there. But uh, they were all very, very clean. And we've sold, I think, all of the Nintendo Switch cases we got out of there. This is one of the only ones that we got that was just a display. But so still sold anyway. So good deal. Uh, and then the last thing we have is the Gravitron Yo-Yo. No, that's no, not it's a, It's like a gyroscope. I got this at the small church sale where I got the Dickies. I paid 50 cents for this. It's a Gravitron. You put this little rip cord in it and pull it and it spins. There's even a little stand that you so can put it on. So it's basically a giant top. Pretty much a giant top, yeah. Um, but uh, this is marked Museum of Science and Industry of Chicago. It is printed on it. So does pretty it cool. Does it light up or anything when it spins? Uh, does it? Uh, I think so. That's awesome. Because it's got like lightning bolts around it so it says now. space gyro pull the ripcord and watch the space age gravitron energize with spinning kinetic energy watch it balance on the included pedestal or your finger how long can you make it spin yeah i think it lights up which is really cool so yeah 50 cents into with the 20 percent coupon it's seven dollars and 20 cents nothing major but just something fun to sell i like selling toys and whatnots like that Okay, and the last item. All right, guys, so do you think we made it to $551 yet? Probably not. There was a lot of little small bread and butter items, like $5 or less. The Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah. The Holy Grail, Zena says. So I'll put a thumbnail up here. If you guys haven't seen this video, go watch it. Um, this is from the Lumberyard sale also. Um, I went digging, Zena was at work, and I decided to go on, I think it was a Thursday or a Friday, and I went digging basically in the dirt. They opened up a, an area in the lumberyard that wasn't all cleaned up, and they basically said this is a picker's area. 
it is pick at your own risk. There is broken glass. There's dirt everywhere. You're going to have to dig. You're going to get dirty. And to me, that is music to my ears. It makes me very happy. So I dug and dug. I, I saved tons of vintage clothing. It's the treasure hunter and all of us. Yes, it's, it's the treasure hunter deep down inside that uh, screams, let me out. <laughs> <laughs> let me out. So I went digging and digging and I found tons of dirty, dirty old uh, vintage clothing that we spent hours cleaning. Um, but then at one point I find a Walmart sack and I pulled out this and it was super clean and I went, oh, this is so cool. Um, at the time I had no idea how much it was really worth. This is a single stitch dated 1998 right down here. This is a Stone Cold Steve Austin celebrity deathmatch t-shirt. See how well y'all can see that. I'll put a good picture of this up for y'all so you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, when I comped this once we got home, I about fell out of my chair because I had no idea how much it was really worth. Um, when I was looking, I was seeing sold comps for around the 250 to 275 range. Um, and then a lot of listeds for around the same. But the difference was theirs were in much worse condition. They were super faded or they had holes. There's one with the sleeves cut off. This one was almost perfect. The only reason we washed it is because it was from a lumber yard, so in the dirt. But it, so it had kind of that dirty smell to it. But it, it came clean. It looks almost brand new in all the photos. Very cool. Um, because of its condition, I did list it really high to start. I had it at three ninety five for what probably four months or so, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. And I kept getting offers, offer after offer for a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars. I got two hundred fifty dollar offers like crazy, and most people would say, "Well, why didn't you take it?" Well, a lot of them were zero feedback, and on a higher end item, that makes me really nervous. I know everybody has to start somewhere, but I just can't do it on a high high end item. So I kept uh, either counter offering at something that was a little bit more fair or I would just decline if it was crazy like a $100 offer. Um, just recently I decided to lower the price to, uh, what was it, $355 is what I lowered it to about a week or two ago. And then with my 20% off coupon I knew that somebody would probably snatch it up and they did. They paid $284 for this t-shirt so pulled it from the dirt, paid way less than a dollar for yeah, it. Yeah, because I think you got those bags yeah, full I got of clothes. Yeah, I two, for... like, 20-gallon bags stuffed with clothes for $20 a piece, and then an Ikea bag stuffed, like, overflowing for $10. So this was definitely less than a dollar. Turned into 284 Not as much as I hoped for, but I am really, really happy with it. I will be sending it off in a box, priority with additional insurance and signature required. I always require signature upon delivery on any item that's $100 or more, just for my peace of mind. So hopefully all goes well with this. Um, I'll be uh, biting my fingernails for the next several days until it's delivered and signed off on. So exciting, very exciting. Awesome. Yep. So um, that was all we sold for the weekend. Yep, that was a pretty good weekend for us. Uh, quite a few items. Huh? Yeah. So what's coming up next week? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so Zena is alluding to, I got some really awesome news to share with y'all. I was lucky enough to be invited by Kath the Nurse Flipper and Rod Pickin' and Punchin' to be a guest on their Tuesday night reseller live where they uh, answer questions from the live chat. So very exciting for me. They do that live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be appearing on April 11th, so make sure you come check it out, guys. If you haven't subscribed to their channels yet, please do so. Go check them out. Uh, they uh, both give out a lot of great information. Kat does some really awesome research videos that Zena and I love. And are you going to make it Zena easy for love. people to find that? Uh, yes, while I was getting there. Oh, okay. I'm going to put both of their links in the description, guys, for you. So definitely go check out their channels. Um, it's it's a... Uh, it's a lot of a lot of fun on the Tuesday Night Lives. If, if for some reason we don't get to your question, there's always people in the chat that are resellers and YouTubers, and they will help you and answer your questions to the best of their abilities. So go check it out, guys. Appreciate you guys being here. If you would like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting real close to 400 um, subscribers. And uh, if you haven't, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified next time a video like this one comes out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> Bye, guys.